We've got from AB Normal who says, don't you think that WoW has too many diehard fans for them to be in a huge crisis at all? Mm. To a degree, so in my head, it's like, every time they fuck up, they lose some people. And every time there is, you know, expansion goes like this, and then Mm. something happens and it goes down. And then another question, you know, every time WoW is like very based on spikes, there's a lot of, you know, then it's very churny. It's a very churny business model, people subbing and unsubbing. Um, Every time, you know, that churn happens, you lose people. My worry has been, I mean, like, I should be a diehard fan. Hmm. And you, you take me back to, you know, the Legion revival and, you know, other times I, I <laughs> like I am, but it's like they went up and down and up and down. And, you mm-hmm. know, it's like, I guess for me, it was really that combo of their response to some of the nine zero uh, issues. I mean, honestly, the, the thing that, that did the single most damage for me for World of Warcraft in the year of 2021 was Ian's interview with Breach. I basically did not like what Ian had to say. I don't mean that on a personal level or anything like that. It was just the ideas that from the team that he communicated. I just sat there thinking, Christ, if they can't just get over themselves and delete conduit energy so that we can stop <laughs> fucking talking about it and they can stop having to worry about it, mm. then what's going on? Why are they sticking to their guns in this? It was like that and then seeing them double down on... You know, instead of making Torghast awesome in its own thing, no, no, we're going to double down in the shitty six floor runs and make you have to get soul cinders for your Lego so it's still Torghast. And for me, that was just like, right, Ian just proved to me that they don't understand a whole bunch of what should be extremely basic game design things that anyone could tell you are a problem. Uh, and then what they did with Torghast was just like, oh, cool. They respond to that in the most typical WoW team way possible because I guess they can't work out how to make a roguelite fun, so they just have to make it a <laughs> shitty oh, chore. And you're like, That's guys, brutal. there's a lot of examples of how to do a roguelite well. Mm. It's been going on for uh, quite a long time now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when was roguelite 1980, I think? Yeah. And for yeah. me, it's like the more times where it is not that, you know, oh, the team made a mistake, but that's fine, we'll get over it. It's whenever the team, it's like they make a mistake, and then they don't acknowledge it or they just kind of say, oh no, we're happy with that. We're happy with that. We couldn't possibly admit. It was like Preach's feeling from that interview was that Ian said that they were happy with how uh, Covenants worked, but they're not going to do it again. And it's like, if you're not going to do it again, then you're, there's a decent chance you're probably not that happy about it. So just fucking say it. Yeah. Just, just, even if you say you're overall happy, at least acknowledge properly yeah. the the that's all that it was that was the stuff that as a super diehard wow person it's like that that's yeah i love azeroth love warcraft all that but it was it was it was literally that that activated my almonds yeah then my almonds are activated <laughs> it, it's it's just as far as i'm concerned it's literally the like for that spiky stuff is just so turbulent that it's actually, it's fine if you spike because you only make a little bit of content. And yeah. people go, you know what? That was kind of, that wasn't really worth my money. I'll not sub, but you know, expansion was okay. I'll come back for the next one. That's okay. But the problem is they keep going. They keep basically angering players. It's, they they keep bending players until they break. That's the problem. Yeah. They don't just let them be. They just keep keep pushing and pushing and pushing, and they take the piss with how they expect players to play their game. Yeah, I mean, even thinking about corruptions and that whole yeah. saga of like PTR, everyone tells you this is a, a bad idea; it's it's messed up. Launch. Yeah. All the people in the PTR that criticized them turned out to be completely vindicated and were yeah. correct. Months later, it's finally resembling a functioning system in the game. Long after eight point three is basically done. Yeah. Not acceptable. Not, yeah, that's and, it. And people are so upset with the expansion, even the branding of the expansion. Like, nah, that was shit. Like, I enjoyed, I enjoyed Warlords in uh, six point two. I enjoyed doing Hellfire Citadel and going, uh, like ham on legendary rings and playing all the classes. But that's because I didn't, I didn't feel like I was getting shafted by playing it the entire time I was up. I was like, yeah, yeah it's, I'm, it's, out, I'm out and back in. Imagine sure. Wad, but. Because we're in a wad like situation now, and then they just ran out of stuff, mm-hmm. actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. And uh, with that, it's like, imagine in wad you had that situation where, you know, at least if you're a raider, you can raid log and have fun. Yeah. But suddenly you feel like you got a whole bunch of chores, and if you want to at least try raiding or something on a new character, 
-hmm. It's like, you got all that chungus to go through first. <laughs> now, in fairness, we do have more, you know, our systems and our gameplay or content will last us longer now than it did in Wadded, in fairness to them, but yeah, definitely. a bunch of the fundamental issues still exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fun. Uh, we got from Keith Farrell. <laughs> now, now, six of your six hours of your lovely cadence soothes the nerves after a long week of work. Much love to you and your team. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, thanks. and uh, they, they absolutely appreciate it. Um, I'm stressed at the idea that I have a, a soothing cadence that, that helps people. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, I, <laughs> and our okay. responsibilities. Yeah, so I don't think it's... I don't know if soothing is a correct term. I think cathartic might be what people <sighs> feel about uh, kind of how we engage with a lot of this conversation. I yeah. think, anyway. I guess what I like is, you know, I think about, like, myself watching streams and stuff uh, when I was, like, younger and I had more mm. time to actually consume content. Yeah. So the crazy rush we've got right now. And it's like, yeah, I was just, it was kind of like, oh, there's something like that in a sketch of, like, cool. I just know I have this, like, thing that holds down that evening. I will be okay. It's fine. I'm I'm happy. So yeah. um, <laughs> it's kinda, I guess being able to provide that for people is, is yeah. means quite a lot. Yeah, it's kind of nuts because I, I've always enjoyed it on like uh, a fixed time because so i used to always watch like uh preach streams i used to watch his drama time oh, haven't yeah. long time but i used to well now it kind of almost interferes with the prep for this <laughs> which is weird but uh the yes yeah, like i i like watching those like scheduled streams and now that i'm like you know here it's like i actually enjoy it more but now that i'm actually doing it it's cool yeah yeah it's, it's really cool it's great um christopher bollard said people enjoy wow too much <laughs> it's like a wife who stays with the abusive, toxic husband simply because they can change, and I love them. People deserve better, they need to start realizing that. So, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't say it's they enjoy WoW too much. I'd say it's like they, uh, you know, they they sort of willfully ignore too many problems. Uh, yeah. But, you know, yeah, there are, every individual is going to have a different point. For me, yeah. it's like, if they fuck up raiding, that's when I'm out. Mm, yeah. If they fuck up raiding and they fuck up the narrative and the setting, then I'm gone. But they haven't done that yet, uh, so I'm I'm here, uh, <laughs> and I do intend to stay for years. Um, mm. But yeah, you know that's that's a pretty big point. It's that sort of thing. Gotta be okay to quit and try something else if that's not yeah. what you want to do entirely. Yeah, as much as as much as I think that analogy is way out of uh, way out of scale, way out of scope. Oh, true, absolutely. I, yeah. The core but principle behind it, I think, is is correct. Of just like you can stop playing World of Warcraft. If you don't want to play World of Warcraft, don't. That will make your life better. It will make your time with World of Warcraft in the future better. And in the long term, it will make World of Warcraft better. Because if you if you pay them when you're not happy with it, you're telling them that you like it. That's it. Yeah. Yep. To yeah, say, indeed. stop. Thank you. 